brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Senator Jose Pito Terlahi falls back and Committee Vice Chair on Public Safety Talina Nelson steps forward. Senator Pito still has authority of public safety, but I have been given the authority to conduct the oversight hearings. The authority follows Senator Pito Terlahi's son implicated in the Jotnia mayor bribery and extortion scandal related to drug trafficking. Joey Terlahi resigning as the Department of Corrections Deputy Director a day after news broke that Mayor Jesse Blas was indicted on federal charges. During his arraignment hearing, the FBI making serious allegations of corruption within the island's law enforcement community involving GPD, DOC and Superior Court Marshals. Specifically for DOC, it was alleged that the mayor had connections to allow inmates to be released from prison temporarily at a price tag of $15,000. The feds had specifically requested that Blas, who's detained in Agatnya, not have contact with Joey Terlahi and DOC Director Samantha Brennan. If there's corruption that we need to flesh out and ensure that those individuals are held accountable. And when she says accountable, she doesn't mean terminating an employee, which she described as a slap on the wrist. If the investigation is done and people are held accountable, and if it's a criminal act, I would anticipate that more would be more would happen rather than just letting go personnel. Um, they'd be held accountable. And if it's a criminal act, whatever the law provides uh, should be their consequence. This year alone, there have been three erroneous releases by DOC. Is there a connection or just coincidence? I found it I found it very curious, but from my understanding of how the FBI works is usually um, they don't act in an expeditious manner. They usually take maybe a year or two to ensure that the evidence they have is concrete. And I think that these things may have happened in the past and perhaps they are all linked. But you know, this is just all speculative information and we really won't know the facts until the investigations are complete. People are held accountable for their actions. The oversight hearing is just for the Department of Corrections and scheduled for October 9th. No word on whether she'll likewise hold an oversight hearing over the police department, which also falls under the Public Safety Committee. Really, it's, it's really a matter of regaining the public's trust as far as the law enforcement, and we have to work together as a community. You know, um, I'm not a police officer, but the police, the, the law enforcement community, the police, Department of Corrections, you know, it's going to be difficult, especially with all of these allegations um, in place. But if they're doing their job, they're protecting us, they're doing the right thing, then that restores the public trust. We just have to make sure we hold up to our responsibility. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.